Hi, you guys. Welcome back. Um, recently had a request uh, from a viewer, uh, kind of an old school request, uh, but we're going to go ahead and go for it. Uh, somebody asked if we could demo how to do a short leg plaster uh, cast. So we're going to go ahead and demo that uh, today with a few tricks, a few tricks from, you know, back from the old days uh, when all we had was plaster uh, before fiberglass and all that. And we'll talk about that and the materials that we are using. Uh, again, basic stuff, stockinette, a couple different pairs of scissors for different reasons, uh, some padding, uh, lots of plaster. We have plaster, well, we're going to do two things, plaster rolls, and we also have the plaster strips, uh, just so I can show you a couple different little methods. And of course, the old fashioned plaster bucket. So a uh, mixing bucket, because we'll be using some warm water and stuff here shortly. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. All right, you guys. So again, uh, a lot of this you guys have seen before, uh, everybody in the ortho, a few people that are watching the, the videos. Uh, we'll do start off with a stocking net, pretty simple stuff. Um, typically, there's two ways to create this short leg cast. Uh, you can do it with them laying on their belly and their foot like you've seen in other videos or you can use the cast stand which I did a video uh, about two or three videos back somebody asked me to do a cast stand video um, which I did um, you could do that either way but because we're doing a demo here and I want to make sure you guys see everything that we're doing um, I'm gonna do this up in the air like this where we, we know this isn't the normal way you would make the cast but I want to make sure to show you guys everything. So we're going to start with the stocking net, and then we're going to move on to the cotton padding, which you guys see me uh, do multiple, multiple times. I'll get started, and as I'm starting, we will uh, just kind of skip, you know, fast forward to the next few steps. So as you can see, we've pretty much uh, padded up the leg and the foot like you normally would with the cotton padding. Uh, just finishing up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the plaster uh, as opposed to the fiberglass. And we're going to start that here in just a moment. And then I just wanted you guys to get a nice little glimpse here of how we, we wrapped up the leg with the cotton padding the way we normally do. And again, we're going to, we're going to fold it over and make it look just like a traditional cast. Uh, we're just using a, a, a different material on the outside. So we're going to go ahead and pause there for just a second. I'm going to start getting the materials ready. So as most of you guys know, uh, rolling plaster is a totally different animal than rolling fiberglass. Uh, of course, uh, we now have the plaster bucket, of course, filled with warm water. Uh, usually I tend to use like room temperature water or a little, just a, a, a tad warmer. And of course, you know, once you wet the plaster, it gets all nice and milky and you can start molding it and shaping it. And you can, you can do anything you want to do with it. Again, the big thing that we all know too is when you're working with plaster, uh, while gloves are recommended, they're not as uh, stringently required as with fiberglass. Fiberglass, you can't work with the fiberglass without gloves. The, the plaster, you know, you can, after a few washes, you can wash it right off. It's just like working in eighth grade art class. However, if you're going to be working with plaster all day long, you should wear gloves because the plaster, after two or three rounds of plaster in the course of just a few hours, your skin will get remarkably dry. But again, we all know you take, you take your roll of uh, plaster and you submerge it in the warm water. And what you do is you kind of basically just go back and forth with it in the warm water. Try to get the, try to get the warm water all the way through the, the entire roll there. And then what you do, then what you do is you squeeze the water out, all the excess, because you don't want it to saturate your cotton padding. And you shake out the remnants and try your very best not to lose your working end. You're going to need this to start rolling on the, the leg that we have set up over there, you're gonna need this. And then you're, we're gonna roll it and we're gonna talk how to, how to roll it. But remember, this stuff is very, very easily managed. Uh, you can shape it, you can bend it. Unlike uh, the fiberglass, you can use this in really, really tight little crevices, tight little spaces. And we'll, we'll do a bunch of demoing on that too. Um, also, you'll notice here that we have strips. And the strips I've placed out because I, I want you to know that not only do we have the rolls that we can we can basically roll the fiberglass and create the cast. Or excuse, I apologize. I apologize. Roll the plaster to create the cast. But there are some people that favor the strips instead. 
So you can, you can either do rolls or you can make the cast out of strips. And the strips are, you know, they come in various sizes, various widths and lengths. You can order them any size or length you want. They come in so many different variations and you do the same thing. You basically, you dip it in the water and you start shaping it however you want to shape it. So I just want you to know that there are options out there. You don't have to just roll the, the cast. You can do strips and then cut as, as the strips are laid down around the ankle or around the heel, you can start cutting them to shape and get away, get, get rid of your little corners and such. So we're going to go ahead and take the rolls and we're going to start making the cast now. So we're going to go ahead and start rolling now. As you can see, I've, I've uh, gotten rid of the excess water. Unlike the fiberglass, this is, you can get a little bit more creative with your plaster. And, and I gotta be very honest here, it rolls entirely different than the fiberglass. You can, you can work with it as you come around the bends and the angles and stuff. You can really just, you can really just get real creative with it. You can rub out the wrinkles. Um, again, I'm, I'm bare handing it here just for really more than anything, just to really show you how easy this stuff is to work with. And again, if we were doing strips, we could do strips around the posterior of, of the, 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 the bottom portion of the foot and the posterior leg. We could create strips and create what they would call uh, a type of a reinforced type of spine, if you will, a posterior type of spine. You could put that underneath and then roll on top of it with this stuff and it would create a really, really nice sturdy weight bearing uh, plaster cast. Um, so again, this is, you take the, the little end piece here, just kind of lay it flat. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of, you're going to kind of work with the material. You're just going to kind of work with it, smooth it out. Now, there is a slang term for this. You'll hear your, your doctors or your surgeons use the word sugaring. Uh, that is an actual term where you're basically smoothing out the, the roughness of the, of the plaster. And you're kind of giving it that, that old-fashioned smooth white cast look, if you will. And then what you're going to do, you're going to fold it over, of course, and let's give a little bit more space here for the toes so you guys can visualize the toes. There you go. And then that, that this takes a little bit longer to set up than the fiberglass. So I'm going to keep going here and you're going to see me kind of progress on forward with the, with the plaster. So as you can see, uh, we're pretty much we're pretty much almost done with this short leg plaster cast. Uh, you can see some of the uh, the old school after effects of making a plaster cast, and you can see the floor. I'm going to end up having to sweep and mop this after we're done. This is this is bringing back memories of back uh, you know uh, uh, last last century kind of memories, if you will, before before the millennium. Anyway, uh, but this is your general basic short leg plaster cast and uh, it's still drying it's still setting up and I'm still sugaring it I'm still smoothing it all out but you can see it's starting to take that appearance that we all remember as kids back in grade school days uh, but again I hope uh, this is what you expected when uh, when you asked for the the plaster short leg cast and uh, one thing real quick you'll remember back in the old days that they used to put a little plunger type thing uh, a heel plunger if you will for weight bearing. Uh, I've, I've noticed more so nowadays, uh, whenever I see a plaster short leg weight bearing cast, they pretty much still use the cast shoes. Every now and then I'll see a plunger down there. Uh, but other than that, um, I, I don't see those as often anymore. Anyway, I hope, I hope this is a, this is a good video for you guys to watch. Uh, have a good day, everybody. And if you uh, think of anything else, please leave it in the comments. And, uh, um, thank you very much. Thanks very much for watching everybody.